If you're receiving this error when you're trying to use my big uh, energy plugin for DaVinci Resolve Proto, this video is here to help. Proto, super cool, super powerful. A lot of that power comes from uh, one specific third-party tool that Proto is built on. Unfortunately, that has added a little bit of complexity um, in the installation process. The main installer I have is just a single drag and drop. For the people it works for, it works great. For the people it doesn't work for, um, I have a backup installation. This alternate installation has been in the wild in a little bit, um, but I haven't super laid it out like I'm about to do here. So a lot of people have ended up installing uh, just a part of the effect, and then when they try to use it, they get this pop-up. Here's what you need to know. In the download for Proto, this is what she'll get. A uh, version of Proto 1, if you want that, uh, the main installer for Proto V2, and then a Proto V2 uh, alternate installer, um, which is also for use on iOS. IPad. You'll notice the files are pretty different. In the main installer is this .lua that's meant to be dragged right into the Fusion page of Resolve. If that works for you, great. If not, uh, the alternate installer has a DRFX, which you might notice from some of my other free plugins and presets, uh, and a uh, Fuse, Tintensity.Fuse. Tintensity is that third-party program um, that was made by LearnNowFX, another um, amazing creator here who has also made lots of, you know, uh, fuses and macros and stuff for Fusion and Resolve. And to install this alternate version, all you have to do is double click this DRFX, which will load that portion of the effect in Resolve. I already have this loaded, so it's asking me if I want to rewrite. I will just click, sure, overwrite. Now we have to install the second part of this effect. And to do that, we're gonna hop over to the Fusion page first. Then up in the menu bar, we're clicking Fusion, Fusion Settings. Then we are jumping over to Path Map. Now this can be pretty confusing. Resolve and Fusion especially um, pulls in resources from like lots of different folders and stuff like that. And this is how Fusion knows which specific folders to look in for those specific assets. So what we're looking for are fuses. You should be able to click this, click this little button here to open that folder. Now this window is primarily um, for selecting a different folder to use for this uh, uh, path. But uh, I believe I tested this right. It should work on both Mac and PC. If I pull up um, this alternate installer uh, folder we had here, we have that DRFX, which we're done with. We also have this Tintensity Fuse. I can select that, Control C, you can just paste this in with Control V. Um, uh, this is uh, a different kind of window, so uh, you might see it flash real quick, but it don't—it doesn't actually show the file there. Um, if you want to double check, you can always um, click up here in the search bar, Control uh, C to copy that main path, and then in any other folder, you can select that bar, Control V to go to that location, and you see now Tintensity Fuse is right there. Always safe just to restart Resolve when you're messing with any of these files, because um, Resolve, you know, checks a lot of these folders at, at different times, um, mostly during startup. So just restart Resolve, get back in there. And then now where we had that error um, using Proto, now we have dragged the correct folder back in there. So now even back on the edit page, in my generators, Sterling Supply Co. Proto V2, drop that on a timeline, we are up and running. Now, like it's sort of labeled, this alternate installation method is the required installation method. Um, if you are installing Proto for the iPad version of Resolve, the folder structure is a little differently there and you can't get to that path map thing. You just sort of have to like find the right folder. I have a dedicated video about that. I will link in this description. But hopefully this video is helpful for everyone who is running into this problem. I am uh, in development for Proto V3. I'm not totally sure what that will look like yet. Um, I'm not totally uh, sure if that will be free like version 2, lots of stuff to consider, um, always. But version 2 will remain free just like the other dozens of free presets and stuff I have on my site. If you haven't checked those out, uh, you know, do that. But for now, really hope this video was helpful for people running into this particular specific issue. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.